Greetings, folks. I realize it's been a while, um, but I have been looking, but not finding all that much. Um, and this is just a quick shot of some of the stuff that I have found lately that I didn't include in this video. Um, this one would have been a really killer piece. Unknown what type. Um, but the following clips are going to be from about April to mid-July. So, uh, just wanted to give you this quick shot of some of the stuff that I didn't include. And as far as the blue flakes are concerned, I know the ones that the ones of you that are following me know about that. Uh, but some of the newer ones may not be familiar with the uh, the blue flakes. So if you, if you wanted to learn more about that, uh, it's video number 32, Experiments in the Creek. Uh, and I'll try to include a, uh, a link in the description. So just some of the stuff that's, you know, was broken and this and that, that I didn't include. So hope you guys like it. Hey, you guys. No clue. Okay, folks, as you can see, I'm back back in the creek. I've been here a couple of hours and walked almost a couple of miles. And one tip and one blue flake, or two, no, excuse me, I've ended up finding two blue flakes. And I'll show you a quick picture of that. But uh, I'm almost to the getting out spot, but I see a piece of chert right here. I don't know the tip, if it's something, it's gone. So let's just find out what's happening here. Oops. Ah, completely unknown. Some beautiful material. Lots of work on it, as you can see. There's been some kind of base that's just completely snapped off. It could have been a Morrow Mountain 2, maybe, if this base was rounded. These two ears, and of course the tip is gone. It's really warm, smooth. Anyway, gosh. Maybe there'll be some more. Okay, folks, uh, been a few days, but I'm back at the Bannerstone site. Uh, and I've been scratching around about 30 minutes uh, in two other spots, and I was done. And I just like the color of this dirt right here, so I just scratched a little bit. Can you guys see it? And I saw it as, I was, as it was coming out, and I'm pretty sure there's a tip. Right there. Let's see. Appalachian style. It's too dirty for me to tell the material just yet. Archaic. Um, anyway, hopefully, 
hopefully there'll be something else right here, but I doubt it. It's getting dark on me. So that's the first one in a while. So I'm happy with that. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, guys, I'm back. I just wanted to give you a quick, just a real quick cleanup on this. Uh, that's what we call amber river quartz around here. Um, that's straight out of the river more than likely. And uh, it's almost most definitely, almost, I would say from that, that it's a resharpen. This was a much bigger piece at one time. But anyway, highly unusual width on that midsection. Uh, it's a nice piece. I'm glad to get that. So it's been, like I say, it's been, it's been a little while. Okay, guys, back again. Pannerstone. Um, <clears throat> just trying to get a little bit of, uh, a little bit of exercise here this evening. Um, scratch around that much right there in a couple places down here to my left but anyway I heard the right kind of ping uh, and I hit you can see it right there and this is something but maybe broken got a piece of quartz but let's just find out Hmm. Yeah, I hit it right there. But no, put a scratch on it, but a funky little blade. Almost Guilford like, but I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, maybe I'm in a hot spot. All right, guys, more if I find something. Okay, folks, back. Uh, let's see, it's been two days or three ago where I found that Appalachian slash uh, Savannah River. And I'm back at the same site. It rained all day yesterday. And clouds broke this morning, so I figured I would walk it really fast. Um, I got a little piece right up here. Um, I was scratching around in this area, I don't know, last week. You can see where it's kind of tilled up a little bit. <clears throat> and I guess the rain variant. Let's just see. Pollen on it. It's actually a little bit nicer than what I thought it was. Yeah, I think that's what's happened. It's been a Morrow Mountain and just the very tail end was clipped off to make it look like a straight base, but it wasn't. Yeah, they may have done it and used it. Anyway, it's pretty smooth. But anyway, not a whole lot, but something. So anyway, wish me luck. Greetings, folks. Uh, you guys see where I am? I'm in a field and I I don't do that much um, for a lot of reasons, but uh, this particular field has not always been a field. Um, only in recent couple of years 
has it been turned into what it is. And uh, I've only been here one other time uh, and found a pretty nice broken crystal quartz palmer here and some pottery and a few flakes and stuff. But I just got here and I stepped over from the weeds and I poked this right here. I'm guessing Savannah with some damage to the top and bottom. So anyway, that's a good sign. I've got a lot of real estate to cover here. So let's just see what we find today. Been just a few minutes, guys. I think maybe I've got a base right here. I can't tell if it's worked down to a, a bit in right there. And it is. Yeah. All right. It's a good sign. Got my head down. Neat little scraper, I think. Probably have to right here. And it's worked on both sides. And I think this end broke off. Anyway. Just a little something. Maybe there'll be more. Okay, guys, I've got something sticking up uh, right here. Now, I've got a feeling that it may be nothing, but I've been fooled before. I just wanted to film to make sure, so let's just see what we got. Uh, you see that right there? All right, let's just see. What do you know? Beautiful, beautiful Mara Mountain. Don't think that's a point, guys. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys will comment. I saw one beside it. No, it's just a rock. But... Beautiful Mara Mountain. Good material. There's some material. There's all kind of slate in here. Uh, not a lot of that around here, but sometimes you, you find a spot that's got a bunch of it. But anyway, I'm still looking. I don't know, guys. Looks pretty old to me. Chime in if you'd like on that. Look right down the middle. All right. Okay, guys, back. Uh, just found that broken base. Possibly, I don't know, it could be a camp creek or something like that. It may be a little bit thick to be paleo or, you know, the transitional stuff to archaic. So, I don't know. If you guys have any thoughts, please share it with me. But anyway, I've got something right here. Be a little morrow. Yeah. Not awesome, but hey, any find is awesome these days. I've been struggling lately. So, all right, still got my head down. Okay, guys, back. Uh, I'm not even, I'm not even really looking today. I'm just, uh, Came to check out what kind of shape the motocross, one of these practice motocross tracks I have, uh, or where I ride is, and uh, look what I got right there. Wasn't expecting that at all. Never seen any flakes or anything here. Interesting. 
All right, doubt there'll be any more, but I just thought I would document it. Out. Came across this little guy. Let's see how aggressive he is. They don't call them black racers for nothing. He is gone. Okay, guys, doing something a little bit different today. I'm in the eastern part of the state. A uh, place called Green Mill Run, which is a, an ideal fossil hunting area. Great for shark's teeth and whatnot when it comes to the fossil world. But anyway, hopefully I might find an artifact, but I haven't yet. I've been here 10 minutes maybe, and I was just going to show you real quickly. I made this shovel. Uh, and I had been dumping it. I was getting ready to throw it out and I noticed right there what I was getting ready to toss. Anyway, hopefully it'll be a lot of that kind of stuff today. Hopefully some Indian artifacts too, so. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Okay guys, it's been a few minutes uh, since I did that little intro and I got something in the screen up here that's pretty cool. Uh, just want to share it with you guys. Uh, right there. I'm almost sure that's a great white. And a nice one. And I see a couple of little little ones. I haven't even really like right. That's how much stuff is in here. If you guys are into fossil hunting. You need to make a trip here because every scoop has got something of merit in it. But uh, let's just pick this guy up right here. That is by far the nicest piece of shark's tooth that I've ever found. Look at those serrations, gosh. That is really cool. All right, guys, I'm hoping for an artifact, but uh, I'll take that. So, more if I find any. Okay, guys, I'm at a spot uh, that I just got permission to look a couple of days ago. Uh, 38 acre clear cut here and this is first opportunity i've had to step in here but i'm about five minutes in and i'm walking you gonna see that and oh, i don't know what kind of quality we got right here but something so let's just look we're on the crude side but hey it's it's uh showing that i'm on the right on the right path here so maybe this place will pan out so stick with me and we'll see okay guys uh found a few more flakes on this little on this little flat right here quarter of an acre maybe a creek right right there a few more flakes right in this little flat and uh i thought this right here was a flake but uh Flip it out from right there, but it's gonna be it's gonna be Yadkin missing that tip. Sugar quartz looks like. Um so I still got some more real estate. Maybe they'll maybe there will be some more produced, okay? Now Okay, you guys recognize this site? Because if you do, I, I barely can because this is what's left of the Appalachian face right here, or one of the sites at the Appalachian face. And if you guys have been following me at all, you, you've seen me find a lot of stuff here. I couldn't even ride the bike to this spot right here. See all those blackberries and stuff right up there? That's the road right there. Back to the right, so I had to park 
I'm 200 yards away, so I had to hack my way through that to get to this little flat. There's a water source right there. And it's going down, straight down this hill. Anyway, I'm raking around in these washes right here. Oh, and I just got to this place. The first place I stopped, I'm gonna show you that. That one hurts a little bit, just to be honest. So, we got thin. So anyway, I'm making my way down to where I normally stop. And I'm raking right here. And I said, oh Lord, let me get one more good one out of here, you know. And I'm looking. Oh, and you guys see that? I don't know if it's gonna be there or not. It looks like maybe a slight tip ding on it. I can't tell for sure. But, uh, oh man, it's big. Oh, so let's just take a look. Lord, please be there. Oh my gosh. By far, the biggest and nicest Guilford Yuma I've ever found. Good Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> it made all that hacking for that half mile back there worth it. My goodness gracious. I am thankful for that. It has been a while, something like that. My goodness. Ooh, I gotta get some stills of that. Anyway, I've still got a little bit. You see all that wash? I found some, some really nice stuff in here, so maybe maybe there'll be something else. But even if there's not, that is worth it. Don't you agree? All right. More if I find.